introduction to parts one and two. Every book of true spiritual wisdom we have read has brought about some measure of higher awareness to our consciousness, what might be called the melting down of ice or peeling of an onion to who we really are. Each book, each seminar or spiritual experience has been taken into consciousness and has prepared us for the next spiritual realization. As we awaken more to the truth of who we really are, we begin to live in two worlds, one of light and one of the so-called real world. This can be a challenge to an open heart. Those who have had a true spiritual awakening discover coming back down to earth where bills have to be paid and business conducted to be very challenging and sometimes even painful. May this book in two magical parts awaken the greatness in you so that you can experience this world and at the same time keep waking up more and more to your true spiritual self. Let these words help you prosper with an increase of money, power and light. Feel it for yourself that there is far more going on in this volume than mere words. As you listen, please keep your mind focused and your heart open and you will receive the message. You will know. Many of you listening to this material may have seen Bob Proctor for the first time in the now world-renowned film The Secret, produced by Rhonda Byrne and directed by Drew Harriet. The Secret is an introduction to metaphysics and mysticism and serves as a true reminder the importance of consciousness. This film has opened a world of new awareness for many and for some The Secret was the first introduction to spiritual universal laws. However, for the serious student of consciousness, the question is, what's next? How do we use the universal laws to attract money, success, and most importantly, gain more spiritual awareness? Well, that is where this magical volume comes in to answer what's next. Prosperity consciousness goes much deeper than just thinking good thoughts and having a good attitude, even though mindfulness is, of course, very important if we wish to awaken to truth. Let me share with you first a little about the wonderful Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor is, in my opinion, a true transformational prosperity teacher. He has high awareness a beautiful heart and has the rare ability to teach people from all walks of life and cultures the secrets to success so that anyone at any age can really understand and get it. Bob's best-selling book, You Were Born Rich, and his audio programs and live events have changed the lives of literally millions of souls all over this world. Bob is a true mentor to so many great authors and teachers of our time. He has helped people from all over the world to wake up and lead a life of purpose and prosperity. I am deeply grateful that I met Bob Proctor and had the honour and privilege to work with him. He is a beautiful and wise soul. When I first started working with Bob in 1992, it changed my life. He asked me, Michelle, what do you truly want? No one had ever asked me that before. I thought about it and realized I wanted freedom and awareness so that I could spread more light through my positive music and help as many people as I could on my journey. I had already done one album on my own as a solo artist Without my bandmates from Australia and being in a brand new country alone, it was scary. Bob said to me, So what if you're scared? Do it scared. If it doesn't scare you a little, then your want is not big enough. I'm going to tell you that those words, those words changed my thinking about fear. It was good to be scared as then I was growing. What a concept. 
Because of Bob's amazing light and wisdom, our Musevation music is now spreading light all over the world. His friendship and guidance helped me in so many ways. He began writing songs with me as he really understood how powerful and fast positive affirmations created as lyrics would be to the mind when combined with melody and music. Together we created such powerful musivation songs and then we went on to create the most beautiful and powerful audio programs on success. I still have pages of lyrics Bob has written that are filled with light and wisdom. I will continue writing music and melodies and singing those words and lyrics because they are overflowing with such a high vibration of wisdom, power and light. That is why people feel so high after listening to the songs, as the light behind the recordings is high. And as Bob says, vibration tells the story every time. Now, part one in this volume, Become a Magnet to Money, holds many universal truths with clear instructions so that all who are ready to take action on these ideas and follow the instructions will be inspired and can be very successful and happy. I took transcripts from audio programs I recorded with Bob many years ago, which you will be listening to on this audio program of this wonderful book, and put what I consider the greatest of his lessons from these musivation programs into part one of this book, and then wrote and added more topics. Many people do still prefer the written word, and in a book form, the teachings can then follow on through the years and help many, many souls. However, some people like myself love to hear audiobooks because I drive a lot, and I can listen to them over and over again. I can get on my treadmill and listen to these great minds speaking these words of truth. And these can then be listened to long after any of the authors have left their physical bodies. As Doug Weed, former special assistant to the President of the United States, stated about the wonderful Bob Proctor, Zig Ziglar may be the master motivator. Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield of Chicken Soup for the Soul, the master storytellers. Anthony Robbins may be the guru of personal development. But Bob Proctor is the master thinker. No one can touch him. The master thinker. Doug Weed is an aware soul. He really gets who Bob Proctor is. Now let's talk about part two, the sea of unlimited consciousness. Now this book, the second part, part two, originally started out as the last chapter of part one of just one book and then spirit had more plans for this topic about the unlimited consciousness in this sea and that is what guided me to go into more depth of discussion into why we experience certain confusion and doubts through the different levels of consciousness for example what is a dark night of the soul compared to depression most do not realize that a dark night of the soul experience is actually a good thing because no one explained to them what they were experiencing. Some did in fact go backwards instead of moving forward. Usually at these times we go to a therapist to find out what's wrong. You know, are we in a negative vibration? Are we in depression? Are we bipolar? What is going on? But it is only through esoteric illumination and meditative contemplation we can know for sure. No one can know for us. However, this book, the second part of this book, The Sea of Unlimited Consciousness, does discuss this so that you can have more clarity of what you may be going through or what you've been through before. We can be guided so that we can understand what we are experiencing and not think we are sometimes perhaps going a little crazy. <laughs> Why we get stuck at some stages of our spiritual development is discussed in part two.
Part one, become a magnet to money, is more instructional with tools to help you create and attract money, success and raise your prosperity consciousness. So if you have been on the path and feel that your spiritual studies and practices are no longer working, part two in this magical volume may illuminate you at last. That is the intention. That is why there are two parts in one volume. It is recommended that you listen to become a magnet to money first and then listen to the sea of unlimited consciousness second. So many enlightened minds and souls have been teaching these truths about the power of our thoughts and meditation and mysticism for eons of time. From Augustus, Hermes, Trismegustus, the Buddha, Shankara, Jesus the Christ, and all of the great authors of positive thinking and mysticism of the past 100 years, including Norman Vincent Peale, Napoleon Hill, Joel S. Goldsmith, Wallace D. Waddles, etc. All these great minds said basically the same thing in different ways. Thoughts are things. As above, so below. With your thoughts, you create the world. Only thinking makes it so. It is your faith, etc. A master thinker is one who knows and feels intensely their connection to their higher power. And some master thinkers are actually enlightened. Bob is a master thinker and has brought the law of attraction and how to think to the masses from all cultures and to people from all walks of life and even into the hard-nosed corporate world. As of this date in 2008, he has done this for over 45 years and he is still going strong. This volume holds words of truth, words of power, powerful lessons to help you become a wealthy, independent, free soul. So if this is new to you, please keep an open mind and let your heart feel it for you. May you always walk consciously with spirit and may your life be increased with abundance, joy and illumination. Always remember that life is magical. P.S. Michelle Blood here again. Before Bob Proctor begins sharing some of these great truths, we have a surprise. At the end of this particular CD, Bob is talking about the wonderful songs, Become a Magnet to Money, I'm a Magnet to Money, I Am Energy, Persistence, Decision. We are gifting you these songs at the end of this particular CD or downloads if you're, you know, getting this as a download. So enjoy these wonderful songs. Listen to them and let them change your thinking to prosperity consciousness.